In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate the detention time of a stabilization pond. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. The problem reads, what is the detention time in a stabilization pond if the influent flow rate is 0.785 million gallons per day, the pond depth is 4.5 feet, and the pond covers 17 acres? Well, like always, we're going to write down our known and our unknown information. Well, they want us to find the detention time. So that becomes our goal or the target that we're looking for. So we write that down. We're looking for detention time. And when we're talking about ponds, generally the detention time is gonna be in days. They also tell us that the flow coming into the pond is 0.785 million gallons per day. So we write that down. The problem also states the depth is 4.5 feet and that the area of the pond is 17 acres. Well, with this information, we have enough to calculate the detention time. Well, our detention time formula is basically detention time equals the volume divided by the flow. So if we can calculate the volume of this pond and divide that by the flow rate going into the pond, we'll have our detention time. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is determine the volume. So we're going to take the depth of this pond in feet and multiply it by the acres, the area that it covers, to find out how many acre feet are in this pond. So when we plug these numbers in, we find that we have 76.5 acre feet of volume in this pond. So the 4.5 foot depth times the 17 acres gives us that 76.5 acre feet. Well, now that we know that the pond volume is 76.5 acre feet, we need to convert our flow into acre feet per day. So we're gonna start with our 0.785 MGD and convert that to acre feet per day. So we'll use the unit conversion or the equivalent that says there's one MGD for every 3.069 acre feet per day. And this is typically given on an equivalent sheet or the formula sheet with your certification exam. Well, we can see that our million gallons per day cancel each other out and we're left with acre feet per day. So when we do the math, 0.785 times that 3.069 acre feet per day, we see that we're flowing at 2.4 acre feet per day into this pond. Well, now that we have the area and now, or excuse me, now that we have the volume and the flow going in, we can plug that into our detention time formula to solve this problem. So we put the 76.5 acre feet on top of the 2.4 acre feet per day. And when we divide this out and do the math, we find that the detention time is 32 days. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.